Here's how to replace the radio on a Toyota Camry Solara. Put the parking brake on and then pry this little cap out of here and don't lose it. Then that will expose this button you can push, which allows you to shift the car into this gear. Open up the center box like that. And then you're gonna wanna pry in here and in here to pop it loose. And there's a few more catches down here. So we'll wanna just kinda break them loose also. There we go. So you slide this through on that side and then on the other side, same deal. Then you'll be able to just pull that up and over the parking brake like that. And there's no wires on this one, so you can just set it off to the side. And this little mini glove box, you just need to pop it loose down at the bottom. That comes off pretty easy, real easy. This has wires on the back of it that are connected to the cigarette lighter. You can see that's pulled pretty tight, so you're gonna have to unplug that. And put that out of the way. That one you just pull off. It, there's no clips you need to push down on. Now we need to pull this piece off. All right, so, the, so it needs to pull forward. So you can use your muscles and pull it forward. There you go. That didn't sound good, but it came off. When we took it out originally, it made it a lot harder than it needed to be. All you need to do is pry this out and then use that to pull the thing out from rather than trying to get a grip on the outside of it. And that we can just prop up and then push back in. The only thing is we want to make sure that we didn't break any clips. So make sure you check, check the clips, one, two, three, and then three on the back side. Make sure they're all good. In this case, one of the clips came off. So that just jams back in like that. Click. And now you see a bolt there and a bolt there. I believe they're 10 millimeters. And then on the bottom, there's a bolt there and a bolt there that we need to take out. And then you can pull it out. And unplug all the wires. Here's a close-up look at the connectors. They've all got a trick to them. So some of them have a little thing you push down, including this one. This is the one for the heater controls. You just push that down and then pull it loose. And then the antenna just pulls out. So I ended up using a Metra. That's the model number right there. There's a link in the description if you want one of these. It looks like this. So you get rid of the metal factory hardware and it's got its own little setup. There's a little pocket and then it supports the radio and you bend the tabs on the radio to hold it in place. And this is the model number from Metra again for the plugins and the colors are matched to standard radio colors. So we're just gonna butt connect all of them together. The only color that is on the radio that isn't on the, the standard connector is a blue and white wire that turns on your amp if you have an external amp. And I'm using the Dorman Ratcheting Terminal Crimper. So this is a fun tool because it ratchets down and then releases pressure at just the right moment. So it you don't have to guess anymore when you're crimping. You just kind of put it in the middle like this and then just squeeze and then it'll stop at exactly the right pressure and you are crimped, straight crimping. Link in description if you want one of these. And there's the finished product. So you'll need to hook up two climate control connectors, one connector to the radio, plus the antenna. And if it has a microphone, I'm gonna run a microphone from the back of the radio through here, down here, and then up onto the stalk there. Let's see, microphone. These wires are so tight that you won't, I won't be able to get a good angle of me plugging them in. So you'll just have to trust that I plugged them in. And now with everything plugged in before you bolt it down, make sure the radio turns on, make sure it runs, which it does. And make sure you hear sound out of the speakers, which I'm not doing because I don't want to get demonetized. And then you put one, two, three, four bolts in. All right, now we put the top back on. It just presses forward into place. Make sure that you're not getting the cable stuck in where the air goes. And then get it into place. And press, and there you go. Ooh, it's starting to look good. 
Now we do the little center glove box. Make sure you plug in the cigarette lighter, which will just snap on like this. and it just pops into place, click, click. And then the center console goes on over the parking brake and the gear shifter. And we just snap it into place. Snap, 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 snap. And then put it back into park and put your little plastic thingy back in here. There's the final result. I should mention that this car has the audio controls on the steering wheel and because of that there was one plug that I just didn't plug into anything when I put the new radio in because there's nowhere to plug it in so if you have the steering wheel controls you're going to have one plug that goes nowhere and don't worry just don't plug it into anything but your steering wheel controls will no longer work with a aftermarket stereo